original versus definitive, which version is better when completing the green saber. In this mission you talk to Sweet and what seems our home is close to you in Sweet's house. Sweet tells you to get a weapon and heads off, but you also get a phone call from Caesar. He tells you to meet him somewhere, so you take off. You notice the horrible truth about your buddy Smoke and Rider. You rush towards Sweet to talk to him. You say some naughty words towards the ballers and start shooting. After you take them all down, the police shows up and you get captured. You talk to Tenpenny and Pulaski as Hernandez is pissing. And finally you are released into the wild with a camera in hand. We'll compare tasks, execution, speedrun tactics and gameplay. Both games are vanilla, played on PC. My name is Barry Info, so leave a like and subscribe for more comparison videos. Now let's see how the Green Saber compares between both versions. We start off in Sweet's house. The first thing you probably notice is the huge mirror. But what do you notice on it? How the reflection of the lamp is missing. It's just a shadow. In the Definitive this is not a problem at all, as the lamp has a proper reflection. The Definitive also took the liberty of changing one of the paintings. I have no idea why, even the characters on it are different. Lots of items were also added, like a few plants, a remote, discs and whatnot. It really adds a lot to the cutscene, as you also see the fan in the original is not working, but in the definitive it is, and here is more proof that they never turn them off. At the end of the mission Sweet and CJ head off, along with all the other homies, but they never turn off the fan. Imagine if they died and the fan was on for months, imagine the electricity bill Kendo would have to pay. Anyway, the sun rays in the windows from the original are now gone in the definitive, but on the bright side the TV reflections are on point and they feel like TV screen reflections. The original does not have them. Lastly in the cutscene when they head out, the plant CJ goes near is seemingly on the floor, but in the definitive a little table was added and it seems taller. So far so good, right? The definitive is racking up some positive points, where here is the beginning of where the mission falls apart. Here we have the cutscene with Caesar, what was once the most important cutscene in the game, where you can see some, for the time, great facial expressions, is now completely obstructed by the window of the car. You can barely see their facial expressions anymore. But is this it? Is only this why the cutscene is bad in the definitive? Ha <laughs> ha no! Take a listen for yourselves. Oh, no. Shit. Smoke, what you into? Shh, that's it. Look at that right. That's the motherfucking green saber. Shit, Smoke. Crash making you sell us out? Moms. Sorry, Issy. I heard a rumor and poked around. I didn't believe it myself, but... Nah, nah, you did the right thing. I owe you, C's. I gotta go tell Sweet about... Oh, fuck! Sweet! Yes, the entire cutscene is out of sync. The characters will not move their lips when talking. Their voices will come out after the character models move. You get useless cut-ins and cut-outs where the characters stand still because the camera was not supposed to be on them at that moment. If you watch the entirety, you laugh out loud yourselves, but it gets even worse later on. Let's continue. The car you park in the marker before the cutscene in the original will still be here. This is great for speedrunners since you can park a fast bike and take it on the way to sweet. Well, whatever you park in the definitive is gonna disappear after you finish the cutscene. If you want a different car, you gotta park it far away so it does not disappear. When you arrive at the bridge, all your home Homies will be alive, trying to defend your brother and you. In the definitive, nobody except you and Sweet are alive. You don't even have a weapon. 
So tell me why the hell are the ballers not advancing to take both of you out when nobody's gonna shoot at them back? And yes, CJ's clothes will be broken here no matter which ones you pick. I guess unless he's naked. But I did not try it. The shootout is practically the same in both versions, but how is the cutscene with the police? Broken as all hell, of course. Before that though we get a spoiler of the existence of San Fierro and it comes from an achievement. As a kid 15 years ago, the first time I heard of San Fierro was from the mission Are you going to San Fierro? Now you get this info early. What is cool is that now you actually see a bag over your head. In the original it's just a black screen. Unfortunately though the cutscene suffers from the same desync you saw in the Caesar mission. The character's voices will not be in sync with the lip movement. I am completely sure that not a single person at Grove Street Games watch the cutscene because you cannot unsee this, especially if you are in the field of game making. What the hell guys? Test the game before you ship it. Also, do you see how Pulaski gives CJ a camera here? Of course you cannot, it's off screen because there's a black bar. There's a reason this black bar is here. Well, since the definitive does not have black bars, Pulaski is giving CJ a big fat nothing and this fat nothing just teleports into his hands. One thing positive I can say about the definitive is that you get a mission pass text when the mission is ahem passed. In the original you never get such a text, which is kinda weird, I appreciate this addition. Lastly, do you see the next mission icon on your map? Well, of course you don't, because it's behind a different icon. Only in certain parts of the map you can actually see it, making you wonder where the next mission is if you don't see the red marker. As for the speedrun, there's not much to say, just use a bike and grenades. This concludes the last mission in Los Santos guys. Once a pivoting point and maybe the most important mission in the game. Now completely, completely butchered by the incompetence of the dev team, who I don't blame, but the whole blame goes to Rockstar. Obviously the original wins in this video and I can't see how anybody could defend the definitive when practically the whole mission is broken. Sorry if I miss some detail, the script is huge and the footage is a lot, if I miss the detail you saw in the video please showcase it. Also leave a like if you enjoyed, thank you for watching and a very special thank you to my top channel members and patrons, Monish Pradeep, Alex Chavez, Max Robinson, Max Rich, Bonchu Talent, LMP Racing, House the Childer, Case Knight, Smokey, and everybody else on the screen. Become a supporter today.